Hey guys, it's Bales. I'm at Fantasy Labs, and I wanted to show you a new feature that we just launched um, that I think is it's a big one. It's, it's very important, and it's in the multi lineup generator, and that is a diversification meter, which gives you the ability to diversify your lineups as much or as little as you'd like. So there's a 0 to 10 rating. If you set it to 0, you're going to get true optimal lineups. If you set it to 10, it's going to be randomized. Um, and so you can optimize or diversify more based on uh, rating, which is the rating in your particular uh, model, projected points, projected ceiling, which we just refined, and actual points if you're looking at a past date, which I am right now. You can actually do this in a lot of our tools. If you set the, um, if you go up here in miles and set the date back to a prior week, uh, we have all of the data obviously on their ownership and, and um, how many points they scored. And so you can look back at um, at the actual points of your lineups if you go into the the, uh, the lineups tab or generating lineups. So you can uh, recreate the model, generate lineups, see how close you're getting to what was actually um, the optimal combination. So the way that I would recommend using this is if you have fewer parameters set so if you don't really limit your player pool which you can do you can like the players and and those will be the only ones who, sh who show up you can set their exposure so you can say i want cam newton in between 20 and 50 percent of lineups or say 30 and 50 percent and if you generate lineups then we'll get newton in um, as close to that number so you wanted uh, 30 to 50 we put them in 40 percent um, if you don't set a lot of those parameters, then you probably want to diversify less to make sure that you're getting that optimal combination, whether it's based on the rating or ceiling or whatever, into your lineup. Um, I would recommend, uh, if, you, if you don't want to take on the risk of, of a true optimal, especially if you're playing, say, um, say 100 lineups and uh, you diversify zero, we will give you um, the 100 completely mathematically optimal lineups based on your model after looking at all of the the settings that you have so we um so you see like tyler boyd in 98 percent um melvin gordon in 85 ajayi in in 83 and so you're going to be taking on a lot of risk um but i would recommend maybe one or two where you're pretty close to optimal but not taking on um, that risk unless unless you can afford to do that um, the times when you would randomize more would be when you've set more strict exposure so this might be um, when you lock in a core for example so say you have newton rawls gordon and john brown as the core that you want and those guys are locked in so they'll be in every lineup and then you want to generate 20 lineups um, and diversify a bit more because you know those guys will be in 100%. You can do that and you still only have 33 um, players in these 20 lineups. You can see those guys are locked in and then you have a bunch of guys around that still based off of um, your model. So when you randomize, it's not a, a true randomization. It's a randomization that... Um, that uh, puts players in probabilistically based on how high they are rated um, in your model. So it's something to um, to play around with. I think that it's it's really powerful uh, for for players who want to optimize lamps, which you you um, couldn't do at a mass level in the past. And now you can, if you want to optimize um, 100 lineups or 150 lineups, you can do that. Um, and it's really good for um, even the randomization. I think is potentially underrated once you set parameters really strict parameters where you limit your player pool okay i only want these guys and i want this exposure to them or i want to lock these guys in um, then randomizing around that can be powerful because you're still only using the players who you want to use because you have a limited player pool um, and you're also avoiding unnecessary overlap it can create better lineups than if you cr created them by hand because we'll try to avoid overlap for you that isn't um, necessary so some uh, overlap in a lineup makes sense like stacking where you're if you use Derek Carr you're probably going to want to use Crabtree and or Cooper in every lineup with him that makes sense it's more volatile but you have a higher ceiling but having a player who is not even in um, the uh, the same game as those guys show up in a, an inordinate number of lineups with them 
would mean that you're taking on a bunch of risk and it doesn't change your EV per se, but it um, does make the, um, the, your, your outcome for the week just more volatile in general, um, which is generally uh, not necessarily a good thing. You, you would um, want to be uh, paid out as accordingly as possible based on the quality of your lineups and not take on that variance. So um, this is a really useful um, feature that I, that I added that I think just um, uh, allows you to create lineups that are really, really close to what you're trying to get after. So if you really don't want to diversify and you want to take on that risk and you want to use um, only certain players or you want to lock them in or you want to um, use certain groups, you can save the group and say, okay, I want them in 50 percent of my lineups that exact combination of players and i want no tight end in the flex and i want no other single player outside of this group to be in more than 60 percent of lineups and i want to be pretty close to a true optimal combination on 20 lineups you can do that and after you set your player pool and um, even set exposures of players you can do that and very quickly get really quality lineups and you can see your exposures here you have 31 players okay i want um, Greg Olson not in 60%. I want him in a max of 30. You can do that. Save. Generate lineups again. We'll redo it and get him as close to 30 as possible. So we have him in exactly 30. Um, really improve the ability to um, customize your multi lineup entry and do it in a very quick way. So pretty excited about it. Play around with it and uh, good luck.